For any Xbox or PlayStation codes or cheap games on any platform, use the referral link in the description. It'll take you to G2A.com. Use the promo code CHEZ over there and you'll get yourself 3% cash back. For all No Identity merchandise, hats, hoodies and t-shirts, follow the link in the description down below to the No Identity Fan Fiber website. Hey guys, welcome to episode number 12 of season 2 here at Roma. We have uh, not long to go until the January transfer window now, actually. There are four games to go between now and then, so we'll play Curry and Liverpool today, Inter and Kievo tomorrow, and hopefully we'll be able to get ourselves above Inter Milan in the meantime and uh, get ourselves into the transfer window with some money to spend, but some money to be raised as well still with a couple of players to move on, and we can have a think over the next couple of episodes as to what we want to do in that transfer window once we get there. I'll give you a quick rundown of who's still on the transfer list. Perotti, Strootman and Fazio and Caprodossi and Corlu and Machine and Nura and Falasco and Sec. although Sec, I believe, is going to leave us, and that deal is already agreed for him to go to Parma, so that will go through, but we still... <laughs> Quite a few other players to sell. So there's plenty of money to be raised. And we have a little bit in the bank already. So we'll be able to make another couple of signings perhaps in the uh, January window. To help get us over the line towards the Serie A title. Which is of course the main aim this season. And the Coppa Nazionale as well. The first round that we're involved in of course will be in the month of January too. But it'll be Calgary first. Followed by Liverpool in the Champions League. Drop the video a like if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell to make sure you don't miss any further videos. And six points on the agenda today, three in the league and three in Europe. And song out wide to Farago. Playing the ball about nicely here, actually, Cagliari. It's Salmon with the ball over the top. Marcelo's chasing. Who's going to win that aerial battle? It was actually the Cagliari man, but we will break away here. Elshar's going to go again. I'll play it over the top to him. Oh, it's beautifully weighted into his path from Victor Wanyama. And Patrick Schick will twist and turn. I've got Fred there. Well, that's who the pass was meant for anyway. Here's Karstorp. Give that out wide here to Under. Drop the shoulder. Go back the other way. Fred's still there. And then around the corner maybe to Schick. Show some strength. Well done. And the shot over the top of the bar. We've had to wait 20 minutes for the first chance on goal to come. Unfortunately, we haven't quite been able to take it. A little bit too much elevation on the shot there from Patrick Schick. Needed to keep that down. Frago. Down the line. Marcelo intercepts. But who's going to win that foot race? Is going to be Farago. And he spins well. Cross comes in. Victor Wanyama is there. That's why we brought him to mop up in situations like that from that defensive midfield role. Corner to come in though from Varela. Okay delivery, but Nangolan heads away and Schick brings that down beautifully. In fact, it's Stefan Al Sharawi that brings that down beautifully. And unfortunately, the turn didn't quite go as smoothly as I envisaged, envisaged that it would do. And now this still causes me problems here. It's a great ball through and Calgary lead after 27 minutes. Han Kwang Song is the man to give them the lead here. Not how I saw things going in the opening half an hour of this game, to be completely honest. We've had one chance for our own through Patrick Schick. They've gone up the other end and made sure. Lovely ball slotted in between the two defenders there. As I drew Manolas, sorry, Jose Maria Jimenez. No, it is Manolas out of position. I just opened up the angle for the pass to be played through. It was perfect accuracy, to be fair, with the pass and the shot. And we're 1-0 down. Now they've got a chance... Great first touch by Verbic to drive past Rick Karsdorp. Turns well. He's got support here. Han Kwang Song with the effort. It's deflected off Jose Maria Jimenez and out for a Cagliari corner. Well, they scored from their last one. I'd like to avoid that happening again if possible. Borela will whip it for a second time. Again, decent delivery, but Wanyama heads away as far as Andreoli. Blocked. Sal. They scored from two corners in a row. Not from the initial delivery, but from the resulting play that comes after that. Really lucky with how it deflects and drops to Marco Sal, but he does well to turn it in. Ball comes in here, and this first shot is blocked well by Rajan Angolan. Should the keeper do better there? Maybe. Cagliari 2, Roma 0. Red to El Sharawi, to Marcelo. We had to rely on Rajan Angolan for a two-goal turnaround against Udinese a couple of episodes ago, and we might need to rely on him again in this one. 2-0 down. Well, two goals down again, this time 2-0 rather than 3-1, but still the point remains. I need to turn this around and get myself back in the game. And uh, oh, looking for Schick, but can't find him. Nothing has really clicked for me offensively in this game to this point. Canary have been the better side going forward, as you can see, linking up well with their passes. Here's Farago in behind. If they make it 3-0, I think it might be game done and dusted and over, but thankfully Jose Maria Jimenez defends well. I'll try will drill this. That was a bit for Rajan and Golan, but Fred will get it in here to Schick. Both passes were meant for Rajan and Golan, actually, but never mind. Uh, Under could make a move, and he looked to, but a little bit too late. Schick 
Oh, nicely done. I've kind of ruined the angle there, and again, he's got too much underneath it. Patrick Schick needs to keep his shots down. If they were a little bit lower, they'd be on target and cause the keeper some problems, but first half hasn't been good enough here. Just cut back, nicely done. Unfortunately, Schick made a, a run that I couldn't really use there, angled himself behind a defender, so even if I wanted to find him, I wouldn't have been able to get the ball to him. Now, can he keep this one down? No, I don't know what's wrong with Patrick Schick today. He just cannot keep any shot down. That is wild again from him. Fred across here to Al-Sharawi. And Golan drops his shoulder wide. If I can get one back before half-time, please tell me you're on side here under... Oh, he's not! It's not clicking for me, is it? I should have played it earlier. I had the opportunity to and just didn't. It's not going my way in this first half. We do still have a full 45 minutes to get ourselves at least two goals, if not a third. With Inter on the horizon, I'd like to be in a position to go above them, not just draw level with them on points, or even if things we do end up losing here, just closing the gap on Inter. I want to win this game. I need to come back from behind by two goals, and it needs to happen sharpish. And Quang Song into Farago. Nice bit of Song again, Marcelo tries to get it through the gap, but couldn't. João Pedro cut it out. Here's Salomon. Intercepted by Marcelo. Right, counter-attack. Let's go. Let's get ourselves back in this game. El Sharawi just driving forward. The runner Schick drew the defender out of the way. And El Sharawi brings us back in the game at 2-1. That is a hell of a run from Stefan El Sharawi to bring us right back into the mix. Just kept driving. You see the runner Schick draw the central defender away. I thought this other guy was going to get to me. So I had to hit it as soon as I got to the edge of the box. And he's rifled that into the bottom corner. Very well indeed. Right. We've gotten ourselves within one goal at the beginning of the second half. Leaves us the majority of it to go and get another one to be level and then a third to win the game. Played over the top. Karlstadt wins the header. Under is down and injured. And Angolan, by hopping over him, actually gives the ball back to Cagliari, which is particularly annoying. And now they get a free kick. And you're going to book him for that? What about that was worthy of a yellow card? Oh, dearie me. That's... Annoyed me. Free kick to come in for Cagliari. Under injured, but hopefully able to continue. It appears so. Arela will try and get the ball back into a dangerous area. Here's Han Kwang Song. Verbitz well held by Farman. If they'd have, if they'd have scored from that... What a terrible throw. What an absolutely awful throw from Ralph Fairman. If they'd have scored from that previous chance, I would have been absolutely fuming. That wasn't meant to go to Castle. That wasn't meant to go to Wanyama. The game is falling apart on me. Don't let them score with them, Manolas. God, none of my passes are going where they want to go. With players' feet, with the keeper's arms, everything is inaccurate. Nice turn by Fred. Maybe I should just avoid passing and just go for another long run. Look for El Sharawi here. Cut it back, looking for Fred, but he took an ace to take a touch there, El Sharawi. Let it run across him, by which point the chance to play the right pass at the right time had gone. Questionable... Decision making by my players here, not necessarily listening to what I'm doing with the controller. When I'm 2 1 down in a game and desperate for victory, kind of need them to do what I'm asking them to do. Patrick Schick with a nice turn. Uh, God, I've not got the room to get back on his left there. He's Fred into Wanyama. Heavy first touch. That cross there to Marcelo. Nangolan to not sprint all the way back there, but never mind. Here he is. Lay that in front of Victor Wanyama. And Wanyama from 30 yards, good save by Cranio and out for a corner. Right, now's the opportunity to get ourselves the goal to go level. And we've still got half an hour to go in front. It's blocked well, but under back in the middle. Oh, I went for the volleyed effort there, Rajan Angolan, but well cleared. And um, Melchiori <laughs> just making sure he gets it as far away from their goal as possible. 21 minutes to go. Melchiori racing around the outside here. Driving into the box. If they get a third, then it will be oh, game over for us, I think. Got a corner here. There's only 15 minutes left. Barela with the opportunity to whip it in, which he does. Get rid of this, please. Well done. Just show some strength. Well done, Stefan. Don't forget the football, though. Oh, dearie me. Under. He almost forgot the football as well. And now they come forward again here, Calgary. Melchiori with a great turn. Opportunity to shoot. Gets it to Sal. Lays it off. And Victor Wanyama mops up. Pull back. Farman. Get rid. That's on target, but will be stopped and a free kick given. This has been a really tough game. I'm going to make a couple of changes. I should have made them earlier, really, but we'll see if we can get ourselves... Maybe I'm going to have to rely on Sanabria here. We'll find out. Hopefully there's still enough time for us to get at least one, if not two. 
Ireland wins that back. Turn it inside here to Wanyama. There's Fred. And slot through Sanabria. Not the best of balls. It will drop to Marcelo, who's free here. By the time the ball actually gets to him. You have men on him. Iturbe is not where I played that ball at all. And now they're through. Melchiori's got a man in the middle. And he's going to find him. And it's not 3-1 Cagliari. I think, I think my control is broken. The amount of passes in this game that have gone nowhere near where I've tried to play them is really starting to confuse me. That was the worst attempt at clearance ever, but we'll try again. Get it to a turbo here, and I might just try and run around the outside of Andreoli, actually, and that's exactly what I'm going to do with Juan Manuel Turbo here. He's got the pace to do it. Sonabri needs to get in a decent position in the middle, which he's done, and we'll find him. Oh, turn isn't the best, but he's still got possession. Sonabria just forgot the ball. Great. Cheers, then, mate. Pass up with the throw. Under. Wanyama. Angolan. Fred. Angolan. Fred. Sanabria. Turns. Running out of room though. Have to turn back. Sanabria! Oh, Antonio, it's about time you did something like that. A dreamy, floated finesse effort into the far top corner. We've drawn level with just 30 seconds to play. I wanted to score earlier so that I could have the opportunity and time to go for a third. But just rescuing a point here might be what we have to settle for. But it's a brilliant finish from Antonio Sanabria. It's actually gone up in rating to 84 as we move from November into December. But Schick's still the starting man in my uh, first team. But Sanabria pulling me from the brink of defeat back level there. And I needed him to do that. Smokiori turns inside. Manola steps in. Counter-attack. Undo's on the far side. I'll get it out towards him. Early to Sanabria, back to Under, inside to Sanabria again, drive past the defender, Antonio Sanabria, oh, what a let off, I can't believe I've actually been able to pull that off, Antonio Sanabria with a great drill finish across goal, I feel for Canary because they've been the better team, they really have. But the late changes, the extra fresh legs of Antonio Sanabria and Juan Manuel Turbe made the difference here. He's not been that clinical for me this season, Sanabria, but is that the sign that the Sanabria from last season is perhaps returning? I can't believe I've done that. Two goals in the 90th minute for Antonio Sanabria. We are going to get the victory against Cagliari. Three points are ours. We avoid a slip-up in our title chase by the skin of our teeth. I don't know how I've done that. I've now got to go and play Liverpool away. Ha. Liverpool's starting lineup is pretty strong. Similar to the one that played against us last time. Though Dibok Origi leads the line up top. Gini Wijnaldum in the midfield with Henderson and Chan. Eric Dyer still at centre-back alongside Joel Matic with Suke on the right-hand side again with Luka Dinier at left-back. We got a win against Liverpool last time, pretty sure. We've got four wins and a draw so far this season in the Champions League. And I think the draw was against Celtic, wasn't it? By two goals for two. So... Uh, we're already guaranteed top spot. Liverpool pretty much already guaranteed second. They're three points clear of Wolfsburg. And I think goal difference is in their favour as well by about plus five. So even if they lose here, Liverpool, they should still be joining us in the knockout stages. I'd like to avoid defeat throughout the entirety of the group stage. And if we can get a fifth win of six games, then that would really be a sign of intent. Even though we're not prioritising the Champions League this year, we still look like we're a decent shout to perhaps retain our trophy or at least we're going the right way about potentially retaining our trophy by dominating in the group stages Daniele De Rossi will play through here to Sanabria who's in good goal scoring form as of uh, the first game but that pass was pretty poorly placed and Liverpool will come away with it moving inside using that extra pace and against Federico Fazio who definitely isn't going to be able to deal with the pace of uh, Mane or Salah if they decide to bring him on I didn't quite see if he was on their bench actually I didn't look but good save by... Oh, did Origi touch that? He did. Good save by Alisson. A bit of a let off there that uh, Origi took a touch to take it over the line. But Liverpool looking like they are going to cause us problems here. But there is a bit of space here for Juan Manuel Turbe Playing in the snow, the uh, ball bounced a little bit too far. And I didn't quite put enough elevation on that to loft it over Carriers for the man at the back post, unfortunately. Looks like it could be quite an entertaining end-to-end -end game here, though. Judging by the opening eight minutes or so. If we can get ourselves a couple of goals, then I fancy us to win the game. Nice tackle by Pellegrini. Forward there into De Frel. I'll work the way across here to Sanabria. Now it's Eric Dyer that's with him. He's not the fastest. 
And he can't quite deal with a change of pace there. And Defrel squeezes it underneath Carrius. And we lead by a goal to nil at Anfield. Could the keeper have done better there? Defrel didn't really put too much placement on it. All power. I think the keeper perhaps expected him to smack it. And he's, oh, he's just put it straight through his legs. Cheeky little finish from Gregor de Frel. I think the keeper, yeah, you see with his right foot reaching, expecting him to go into the far bottom corner, and he didn't. He put it exactly where the keeper didn't expect it. Right underneath him. 1-0 Liverpool at Anfield. Origi to Gini Wijnaldum. Oh, the ball rolls completely sold me. And I saw that through ball to Origi at the last moment, and Alisson with good hands to stop them from scoring there. That was close. Liverpool looking to fire back immediately, but... Not too much problem for Alisson to save that one. She could send Iturbe in behind here with a nicely timed ball. And Sanabria again. Get there, dink it. He did get there and dink it. But unfortunately, the final touch came off him. Not the goalkeeper. And it'll be a goal kick. Into Sadio Mane. Oh, nice dummy. And Coutinho could save by Alisson. Someone needs to get to that. They couldn't figure out between the two of them which one actually wanted to go and get to the ball. It was very, very nearly 1-1 there. Coutinho again causing me problems down this left-hand side. That dummy from Divock Origi completely sold me. And Alisson again with a very good stop. Great reactions from the Brazilian to stop Liverpool from equalising for a second time. Jordan Henderson to cross the ball in. And Jesus heads that away. I think it was actually Coutinho that was underneath that as well. Henderson to Origi. Good footwork. Back to Henderson again. Cross maybe. No, Gini Wijnaldum. Tackled. Oh, Turbo twisting one way than the other. I'll just loft this here to ensure that it gets to a teammate. It was the intention, but never mind. I have managed to get it to Greg Wider for all this time on the floor. Oh, I was hoping acceleration and pace would beat Jordan Henderson there, but it didn't. Thankfully, the reactions of Alisson beat Felipe Coutinho in the Battle of Wits for Liverpool looking for a goal. Here's Divock Origi. Nice tackle by Pellegrini, but drops only as far as Gini Wijnaldum. Pellegrini again steps in, but Wijnaldum just runs off with it. Pellegrini again getting involved. We have trained him up to be the Daniele De Rossi replacement, despite the fact he's playing alongside him here. Still a very, very good player, Lorenzo Pellegrini. He has 84 stand tackle now. We have trained that significantly so that he suits the De Rossi replacement role. I might bring Kevin Stripman on for Daniele De Rossi in the second half. John Matic too strong for Sanabri there. We are close to half-time and heading into that second half now with our one-goal lead still intact, thanks to the wonderful reactions of our goalkeeper. Sadio Mane looking to get in behind and headed away. Gini Wijnaldum wide of the target. Through through there to Diego Perotti. Very rarely gets a place in the starting lineup these days. De Frel could have played through Sanabria, but he was just offside. But here's a turbo, and there's a second. Liverpool have been pushing, pushing, pushing for that equaliser. But they're not going to get it. Liverpool home fans actually booing just there. All about playing through Sanabria, but he ran offside. Nobody tracking a turbo on the far side, and it's a simple finish. We're two in front. We've a little bit of daylight. That should guarantee us five wins from six Champions League games. And to be fair, I should have won all six if it weren't for Celtic's remarkable comeback from 2-0 down against me in the second game of the uh, Champions League, I believe it was. 0-0 uh, against Wolfsburg currently. So even if Wolfsburg were to win, uh, we've, even though Liverpool are losing, Wolfsburg still not able to close the gap to them and level it up on eight points apiece. Uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens in the second half in both games. And they driving down the line. His pace has caused me issues all game long. De Rossi forceful. Knocks him off his feet there, Sadio Mane. But a legal challenge. That's a terrible pass from Iturbe there. Looking for De Frel. Pellegrini stepping in again. He's done that umpteen times. Pellegrini actually having a very good defensive impact on this side. Despite the fact that De Rossi is probably... The more defence-minded of the two players. De Rossi getting involved offensively up to with Turby. Sanabria we use Pellegrini. Just gets ahead of Jordan Henderson. And then we'll switch it across this far side. No, we won't. Coutinho will cut it out. There's Origi. Option to play Mane down the right. Wait, a pass has to be right. And it is. Here's Sadio. Inside to Henderson. Good first touch. Oh, how has he not scored? Or at the very least, gotten that on target. What a waste from Jordan Henderson. De Frel. Sanabria, not that there for Pellegrini. Sanabria has gone again. Uh, oh, I'll try it from the edge of the box. Oh, Carius, what a leaping save that was. When he delayed with his movement, I thought it was going to fly into the top corner. Here comes Mohamed Salah, formerly of Roma, obviously. I'll have to wait and see if he can have an impact for Liverpool. Divock Origi heads that away. Jesus isn't going to be able to keep that in, so we'll just settle for the throw. Thank you, eventually. Uh, right, okay, Iturbe. 
Turn back this way and cross. No, Suke ball rolls that out for another corner, thankfully. Right, corner. Come in. Up we go. Sinabri, flick that backwards. Emery Chan heads it away. Uh oh. Now Mo Salah's on the run. Daniele De Rossi isn't going to be able to keep up with him unless I could just chop him. That's a good tackle, actually, from Daniele De Rossi to stop the breakneck counter attack. And De Rossi actually steps in there as well. And now that's my throw. He might have dropped from like 84 to 79 rated, Daniele De Rossi, but when called upon, he does still perform quite well. Chan into Edin Dzeko, who's just come off the bench. Oh, great pass to Mo Salah. Step in there with Emerson, though. Really good defending from him. He made a lot of people forward there, actually, and Eterbe will ping this, looking for Perotti. It's a great ball. The touch is a bit heavy, but the conditions obviously played a part in that. Perotti driving forward. Just lay it sideways there to Gregoire De Frel, who's in the box here. De Frel! Good save by Carius, climbing it to a defender, not to the two awaiting Roma players that were there. Pellegrini trying to work something there, but probably would have fouled the man if I pushed a little bit harder. I wanted to change to De Rossi there and he wouldn't let me and I've absolutely chopped Dini Wijnaldum. Mo Salah's in behind now, driving forward to cross maybe to Dzeko. And Jesus puts an end to Mo Salah's attempts this time on that left-hand side of my defence. Mo Salah and Sadio Mane not had the impact that uh, Liverpool might have hoped those pacing wins might do against my back line, especially considering I've got Federico Fazio in there, who obviously only has like 30 pace. I expected to be troubled a lot more by the likes of Salah and uh, and Sadio Mane in this game, but they've not been good enough. That's why they're going to have to settle for second place and why we are romping to a very large group win. Pellegrini. Scenario. Do I go back to Pellegrini? I will do now that he held his run. And then we can poke through Scenario. He was instrumental in the last game and he's rounded off this one as well. Is Antonio Sanabria back? I don't know. I'm not sure. He's had a good episode, but we'll have to wait and see if he can continue that. I might give him the chance in the game against Kievo. I'll start Schick against Inter, but maybe against Kievo in tomorrow's episode. Antonio Sanabria can have a, a first-team chance in Serie A again and build on what has been a good episode for him here. Patrick Schick didn't really play very well at all, actually, against Cagliari. So if Sanabria can make the most of his drop in form, which is what Schick did for Sanabria, maybe he can return the favour and we can get both strikers playing top quality football, scoring a lot of goals and firing us towards hopefully multiple trophies this year. Luca Digne with a good ball in and Salah with a header. Good save by Alisson. Who's going to get to that first? It's Juan Jesus. Knocked down, but Matip actually won that thing. Oh, Lalana, that's naughty. Lovely little scoop turn. Genie went out with the effort and that would have been a stunning goal. Edin Dzeko and Juan Jesus battling well, but Pellegrini gets that away. What a finish that would have been. Adam Lallana around the corner here to Gini Wijnaldum. De Rossi steals it off him. Can we go up the other end and make it four? We might well do. Antonio Sanabria in behind. And yes. Maybe he is back. I'm not sure. Two goals for Sanabria in game one. Two goals for Sanabria in game two. Four nil. Salah. That's Gini, swept up wide here to Suke. Turbe with him, nicely in there to Eric Dyer. Stands the ball up, who's going to win that physical battle? Nacho, thankfully. Former Real man against now current Barcelona man. Salah will take the corner. It's a good delivery as well, but Emerson heads away. Be recovered by a, a Liverpool player, but I'm not sure how much longer the referee will actually allow play to continue here. Not long at all is the answer. Right. Really pleased with that. I think 4-0 flatters me. We obviously only got the fourth because Liverpool committed so many bodies forward trying to get themselves back in the game. Not that they needed to. Maybe it was because goal difference was going to be important for them with regards uh, potentially keeping Wolfsburg away from second spot. But they had more chances than me in that game, Liverpool. They were by no means uh, a 4-0 defeat worthy performance. But Wolfsburg only get a draw against Celtic. So regardless of the fact that they got heavily beaten... They do get themselves through to the knockout stages. Chelsea win by three goals to nil as, uh, as well. Press conference transfer offer for Nura. I'll just accept that straight away as well to try and get another deal done. Thank you. Match rescheduled in February. That presumably is for the Champions League knockouts. We'll have a quick look. Have they been drawn already? They have. And we have Borussia Dortmund in the round of 16 of the Champions League. Okay. We played Dortmund in the Chelsea series in the Champions League. And we were able to get past them. 
we should be able to do the same here with Roma in this series. We'll have to wait and see. The league table now sees us above Inter as we hit... Oh, what have I done? Uh, media earnings. All right, cool. That was the 18.6 cent for the Champions League. We've gotten ourselves above Inter now and we play them next. Still 15 games in, or four teams for myself and Inter, all three top sides undefeated. It's not very often you see three teams undefeated as you head in towards the January transfer window. But if one of us beats the other in the next game, then one of those uh, undefeated records will be chalked off. I'd like a win. I don't want to lose pace with Roma, the way they keep winning. 13 wins in 15 games is kind of Manchester City-esque. But we'll have to wait and see what happens. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed today's video. Check the channel page for anything you may have missed over the past couple of days. And I will see you later.